Hello, fellow Chelan uh, County Democrats. Uh, today, I want to talk to you a little bit about this new dashboard that we've created that will help you analyze uh, how well your precinct did, how well your area did, and also if you're just curious about the 2020 election that we had. So this is the dashboard that we have created. Uh, it's called the 2020 Final Results of Chelan, Chelan County. And in it, all sorts of really interesting stuff. You have all of the votes combined into one. You have essentially where your rejected ballots were, what the age makeup is for the area, the ethnicity makeup, and the gender distribution. So first, we need to be able to access it. So how do you do that? Okay. Let's start with the most simple way. Let's go ahead and start going to our website. So it's the Chelan County Democrats. And I look for it in Google. And it should come up. And it's this one here, Democrats of Chelan County. I'll click on that. And then what I need to do is I need to go to this uh, Get Involved section here and click on PCO Corner. This is where you get all sorts of information if you happen to be a PCO for Chelan County Democrats. At the very top, or maybe not at the top when you actually look at this page, but there will be a title called Chelan County 2020 Final Results Dashboard. You click on that. And you will get this really wonderful map, this wonderful dashboard. And in it, you'll see all sorts of very interesting information, like, for example, who won the vice president and the vice president? Who won the governor? Who won the congressional district CD8 US representative? Okay, so now let's go ahead and dig in as to how you find out the information that you would like to find out. All right, I'll go ahead and put the hat on of, let's say, Susan Boutrell, one of my favorite people on here. She belongs, she owns Precinct 129. And it says so because under the, the sign Precinct, it says 129 and it says Susan Boutrell. So in order for me to do that, I go up to this little area called Precinct, I click on it, and I go and I find 129. 129 is right here, you see that? And in order for me to be able to just look at 129, I will click on the Only button, like this. And then, in just a little bit, everything got updated. If you look down here, you will see that all of these things have changed. First thing I will notice is that in Susan Boutrell's uh, area, uh, there are all these age, this age makeup, and it shows that there were 24 that voted that were between the ages of 18 to 24. There were 10 that voted that were the ages between 25 and 34, and so on down the list. This column here, this percent turnout, tells me that 24 out of the potential 28 voters that live in that area voted. So that's an 86% turnout. And that's pretty darn impressive. I mean, she has some really good numbers here. These 25 to 34 year olds, what a bunch of slackers, right? <laughs> well, that's still pretty good, 56%. But in comparison to everybody else, these guys were falling behind, right? Okay, some other interesting stuff that we have here, um, because of the fact that um, that we have, uh, this, this particular election was so uh, uh, POC sort of oriented, at least they're the ones that made a big difference for us. Uh, we have uh, well, the ethnicity, ethnicity makeup uh, and also uh, the racial makeup of her area. So on here we have this little a map and it shows that if you were um, uh, white folks had a 93% turnout, they had 335 out of the 361 votes. Hispanics, there are seven registered according to this and five of them turned out from her area, 71%, Asian and black. Okay, at least those who identified or were basically, uh, probability was high that they were in those particular um, ethnicity or races. Uh, gender distribution is also very interesting. This really played a big role in the 2018 election, but it still is pretty high here. So that's always been very interesting. So if you wanna know basically uh, what kind of makeup you have in your area, this is a good way to do that, okay? Let's go ahead and see how Susan uh, did in terms of like uh, getting people out to get the Democrats. So for Susan's area, it looks like uh, a good percentage of the votes, 58% of the votes uh, showed up and voted for Biden and Harris. 
and then 41 percent showed up and voted for Trump and Pence. That's actually fairly common for the Leavenworth area. They're going to be strong Democrats there. All right. So also under governor, you can tell that Susan did pretty well with Jay Inslee's. Susan's area did pretty good with Jay Inslee as well. 57 percent voted for uh, Jay Inslee and 43 uh, percent for Culp all the way down and we can basically start analyzing all of these. But on the left hand side you have a tabular form and on the right side you have this little pie area and if you like just basically uh, hover your mouse over any one of these it'll show you in detail uh, what that is. Okay so that's pretty easy to use right? Now if let's say for example you now want to go back to the normal map and let's say you want to look at all of Chelan County. So what I do is I come up here and I click on this little button. It's not necessarily intuitive, but this little button right here represents all of them. So now it goes back to all of them. And you can tell that that's the case because all of a sudden we have a bunch of more votes everywhere, right? And so for all of Chelan County, all these numbers are pretty darn impressive, especially in the youth right in here. 73% showed up between 18 and 24. 75 showed up between 25 and 34. And then here's the ethnicity makeup. 65% showed up this time around, which was a pretty good number, I think, um, especially in comparison to 2016. Uh, I have those numbers somewhere else. And all the way down. Now here you see how, it, how everything kind of changes a little bit because Chelan County as a whole voted for Trump and Pence. And this is basically how Chelan County as a whole voted. 52 or 53 percent voted for Trump and Pence and 44 percent voted for um, uh, Biden and Harris and uh, and then here all the way down the line we have the Libertarian Party the Green Party etc uh, as well as governor here's governor and then of course I wanted to show you one in particular uh, which is the lieutenant governor this one was very scary for us in Chelan County uh, you can tell that uh, that we had this write-in vote, so 37%. So that was a little bit of a scary uh, on, on that. All right, so now that's all of Chelan County. So now let's go ahead and say that you were interested in a particular area. Let's say you want to look at you want to look at Leavenworth alone. So what I would do there is I would click on this map. See this map right here? You click on that map, and it shows you uh, a map of all of Chelan County. And what I can do now is I can actually zoom in. Oops, sorry. Okay, there's zoom in. And I will notice, I will note this down on a piece of paper that we have to get uh, we, I want to look at 129, I want to look at 220, I want to look at 210, I want to look at 122, and I want to look at 125. And that pretty much gives me all of the, um, uh, the Leavenworth area. Okay, so that's what this map is for. So let's go see if I can, how do I do that on this one? So what I'll do is I'll down click again on precinct and I'll start with the first one which is 129 and I'll say 129 let's go ahead and just do that one alone okay let's go to two uh, to uh, 122 that was one of the numbers and I'll click on this little box so now I have two of them checked you see 129 and 122 now I want to do 125 and I want to do uh, 220 and 210. So I go down to this uh, numbered by that, 220, 210, and 220. I do not know how they come up with these numbers, but there they are. And I'll just click a little bit outside. And now, see right down here, it tells me, it kind of like filters on all of these folks. So these are the, all the folks that kind of own Leavenworth. Finn Johnson, Janet Millard, John Minerich, Susan Buttrell, Jill Martinez, and Tom Durpak. And now, for all of Leavenworth, I can see all the really interesting information. So I have the age makeup, really nice numbers here, all the way across the board, 25 to 34 is finally pulled in here. And then we have, essentially, the ethnicity makeup is really interesting to look at. 
you know, to see basically where, where the votes are coming from. Uh, and then we can actually look at the results just of that area, just of the Leavenworth area. And we will notice that, well, Biden and Harris were still strong, 60%. I think that's the strongest we have in terms of like uh, voter turnout for our region, for our Democrats. Uh, Jay Inslee came in strong. Kim Schreier came in strong. Danny Heck came in strong. Kim Wyman, uh, you know, yeah, that always happens. Uh, Adrian Moore. Uh, one in this particular area, which is really, really cool. This is uh, something that's exciting for her campaign. She won, she drove a really interesting, a really good campaign, especially with the younger voters. So I think that's who came out for her. Bob Ferguson won, basically all Democrats. So we can basically write off these particular precincts as blue. So that's an interesting way of doing this. Um, the other way that you can, you can do this, I'll go back to reset this, right? is I can look at it on a per school district basis. And that's a really quick way for me to basically say, what does it look like? Let's say, for example, in the Cascade area, which is like, you know, uh, Leavenworth and Lake Wenatchee. I'm sorry, I'm focusing on that, but that's my area. So that's kind of like what I'm looking at. And here it does basically for you, it basically filters out all of the precincts uh, that are in that. We have, now we have, um, we have all the Leavenworth folks coming in, Jerris Jackie from, uh, from, from Leavenworth. Uh, so there's lots of folks here. Uh, this is all this basically just kind of ease it. There's Bill Miller, and I think Julie should be in here. Yeah, there's Julie Martinez. And so all the folks that are in the Leavenworth area are on there. And that's another way of using it. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just go back to here uh, and look at the um, uh, executive board section of the website. And then just email me. I'm right there, Ed Martinez. Uh, at chelancountydemocrats.org. Okay, so that's all I have for you. If you have any more questions, email me uh, and enjoy.